what's up YouTube? You're watching Greg Rants. This is our Royal Rumble 2017 prediction videos. And in this video, we're going to be talking about two matches. We're going to be talking about Owens versus Reigns for the Universal title and John Cena versus AJ Styles for the WWE, WWE title. And, uh, the first match, yeah, that's, that's it. Okay, so, let's, what are your thoughts about Owens versus Reigns? Owens versus Reigns. Now, people, let's fight. Owens, fight. Let's let's. These these two title matches are going to be the matches of the inevitable. As in, it's the inevitable who's going to win. So, fair warning to everyone out there in wrestling fandom land. Reigns is going to win, probably. No. Reigns is going to win. And you'll get you'll hear my other prediction later. But <clears throat> okay. So I mean. At least wait. Owens and Reigns has been pretty entertaining feud. You know, Owens is masterful at his heel work. Obviously, Jericho, you know, is Jericho. <laughs> Rise Jericho. Um, and then I think these two will have a really good match against each other. You know, style-wise, they're similar with Owens a little bit more like a little bit more of a grappler, I guess, uh, and Ro Reigns being a little bit more of a striker. Um, bit so, of puncher. Yes, of course. <laughs> um, so I'm looking forward to it, to be honest with you. I know everyone else doesn't because they all jump on the hate bandwagon, but I don't hate Roman Reigns. I actually met the guy in person. He's a very nice guy. I met him too. But Thanks very much. I that, just, that means a lot. <laughs> uh, he's, he's a good guy. Uh, Thanks. I'd, I appreciate I'd, that. I'd be happy if Roman won. Thanks. I appreciate to that. To continue the feud. But I'm a big Kevin Owens guy, so I'd probably like them to see him retain, but I'm mixed. It's just I wish that, that the crowd could get behind Roman Reigns as much as they do a John Cena. Yeah. You know, the, one minute they're booing him, the next minute they're they're not. They're cheering him. It, it, I kind of feel like they're forcing him a little bit to, for us to like him, but he still has a long way to go. I think fans are just fickle at this point and they need to like seriously think and they see the writing on the wall that Reigns is the guy right so then you make a decision based off of that are you just going to constantly boo and whine and complain about it all the time or are you right? gonna, it is their right but at the same time it shows how fickle they are because then he'll do something really awesome and then they'll cheer him just like a perfect example is when he got his first two title ru runs. You know, he when he first won it, people didn't like it. And then he lost it, and then he won it back in the same place that booed him out the building. And they, him. Him. they cheered him. They gave him the one of the loudest pops of the year when he won the title. That shows you how fickle some fans but are. I agree, but at the same time, people are allowed to change their minds and opinions on wrestlers and, and stuff. And you ain't consistent, man. Like, wrestling, at least, you know, from a fandom standpoint, should be should be consistent. Like, give your wrestlers some love. Don't be fickle. And just, be, just because someone's the guy now, someone's the main guy, you know, don't don't be too cool for that. Like, it's it's that, like, hipster mentality where, oh, everyone likes him but, and... I got it. Not like him. Like, I, 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 hate I, I do. I just do. like who you like and don't like who you don't like. Don't I do agree with that. I mean that there are a portion of fans that are like that, but um, personally, there, there, uh, there's been some wrestlers that I didn't really like at first, but then they grew on me, and I, I learned yeah, to love them. Yeah, there's a big difference between how you might have it might have reacted. It's all a matter of them. opinion. Well, kidding. Then that's why we have a show. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is that why? Right? Okay. <laughs> but there's a big difference between just growing into liking a wrestler versus already starting to like the wrestler and then changing your mind and then changing your mind and then changing your mind. That's fickle. That's. Fickle. I think also there's a portion of fans that don't necessarily hate Reigns, but they love to boo him because it's fun, and mm. they just join in. I don't know. I. Think they're fickle. And then there's a portion of fans that really sincerely don't like him. See, I give them credit. If they never liked Roman from the beginning, that's fine. You know, all power to you, but the changing of your mind constantly, like, it's it's silly. And me. also another thing to keep in mind is the, the, the crowds, like, and where they are in the country. I mean, like, if they're in front of a cat crowd that's mainly kids, they may be received differently than 
if they're in a crowd that's mainly adults. Yeah, but what I'm speaking off of, like, Raw and pay-per-view, like, yes, it's different when, like, you're at a live event, and it's mostly kids and stuff like that. Roman and anyone else that's a good guy is mostly going to get cheered. You're going to... We went to a live event not too long ago, you know, last year, and the main event was Roman versus, I can't remember who, probably Sheamus or something. Yeah. Someone that was a heel, a definite heel, and Roman was the definite face. If And the week prior on Raw, Roman got booed out the building, right? He comes to this live event, he gets cheered. Same person he's facing from Raw to now, but different reaction. Like, like, depends on what I don't know. It, it's hard to explain. I'm sure there's a lot of different variables at play. Yeah. But, but anyways, uh, that should have match. Yeah, that's just my... I, my, my I like he Owens. had a lot of good points. So I'm not as disputing much that. As much as I like Owens, I think it's time for him to drop the title. You know, he's, really? He's elevated it. He's had it since August. You know, ever since Finn Balor ha- had to relinquish it since he got injured. But then again, you kind of want to see him keep it because just in case... Finn Balor does win the Rumble. We get that match with Balor Owens. Yeah, their but think about it this way. From NXT. Then you could all say, well, I still want to have Kevin Owens be champion. Or there's a slight chance you could have Sami Zayn win the Rumble. You get Sami Zayn versus Owens at Mania. So many different variables you could have. But then again, it's like, well, they've been really trying so hard with Roman Reigns. You know, the game of the U.S. title wasn't really doing much with that. Dropped it a couple weeks, a couple months later to Jericho. Now Jericho has it. What's he going to do with it? Is he going to do anything with it? Is Roman Reigns getting up, winning it back from him? Is Roman Reigns going to be a double champion? Did they have him drop the title because they knew he was going to become a universal champion? So, Normally hey, that's what they do. Is hey, when they have a secondary title and they have a title main title match later on and yeah. they're slated to win it, it's like scripted that they're going to lose that title before they have the the big main so title. That Usually like, hey, that's what happens. We got you. We want to give you this uni- the U.S. title. We'll sell more U.S. titles, replicas. You know, be glad that you have it. it gives you the taste of having a title, but we're going to give you the universal title. We're going to give you the ball, and you better run with it this time. Which I think he will, because the crowd is starting to enjoy him <laughs> a little bit more. But of course, we'll see how long that lasts. I, I hope it's I, long. I want them to because Roman works very hard, and yeah. there's really nothing that he's doing or I'll rephrase he's doing things on an improved level he's made leaps and bounds improvements in his wrestling in his promos you know you gotta admire the guy for working hard to get better and And especially that they give him you know a new ring attire no more shield vest no more shield music well you see, know. they always drop hints to S.H.I.E.L.D. stuff, so that makes me think down the line there's going to be something with the S.H.I.E.L.D. together. Maybe once we ever get Dean Ambrose back on Raw, but being that we've had Seth Rollins and them teaming up, it's just, man, you wish you had Dean. But mm-hmm. Dean's doing his own thing on SmackDown, and he's elevated a lot more over there, you know, just yeah. the Intercontinental Champion right now. But yeah, of course I'd like to see a S.H.I.E.L.D. reunion. Even though I wasn't a S.H.I.E.L.D. guy in the beginning, you know, going back. But... I you know I was a Shield fan, but Damn. when the Wyatt I was a, I'm a big Wyatt guy as everyone knows, so I'm a little biased when it comes to some things. There's a lot of videos. True, true. But, <laughs> about this. But Roman Reigns is a great wrestler, and you know he's had countless great matches with Bray Wyatt. You know it's helped elevate Bray Wyatt. His matches I liked his matches with AJ last year. Yeah, those yeah, were some fantastic. Really good ones. So I think that it's time to really give, you know. Roman Reigns a chance, and he'll elevate the WWE to be the next John Cena. <laughs> He's had a lot of chances, though. It's like, yeah, I would like to see him turn heel, because it would be awesome. But then, he, then if people were to boo him, he'd get the boos anyways, because he's a bad guy. Yeah. As a they would face, make more sense to turn him heel. As a face, I guess I'm fine with it. So. I think the most interesting aspect of the match is having Jericho suspended above the ring. I, I yeah. can't believe no one's mentioned that yet. Uh, and now the so match is gimmicky. Now the it is gimmicky, is... but it, it's like, I mean, how often do they have a match with some random Obviously guy not above the very often, it, it, I think that's going to be hilarious. I don't think there's a reason. And, for that. and, and no disqualification <laughs> now, too, so you never know if someone someone from someone's past could come and help Kevin Owens. Yeah. 
Then think about this way. Come hell, Roman Reigns. Maybe Dean um, will show up at As more. much as Owens has gone on a, a great run and he's a great wrestler, almost every single big match he's been in, in been in, he's had help to win. Plus I'd Triple like to H see him show up too. I'd that. like to see him win it. On his oh, own, clean. Yeah. I know he's a heel, and generally heels don't win clean. But you eventually but, want them to win clean. Yes, exactly. So, I, but what I think is going to happen is, I think Owens is going to win. I think Jericho, even though he's going to be suspended above the, the match, somehow, some way, he's going to interfere. And if he doesn't, someone else is going to interfere to help Owens win. It's possible. Or Bungie this could jump, be. What if he bungee jumps <laughs> outside the dark cage? <laughs> I don't know how that would work. But so weird. What if he throws something from being suspended at Reigns and yeah. knocks him out? He sneaks something in there. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow, somehow so, he so sneaks in bolt cutters. Anyways. And then he bungee jumps out of the cage. <laughs> you know why they got that shark cage? It's because of the toy. Because they want to sell the toy. They, they, they had. It was a joke. Like, when, 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 did, when did this match ever happen in NXT? And then in NXT they had the match with the manager of the Authors of Pain. So ever since then, like, oh, let's do that on the uh, on Raw and have it in the Rumble now. So now they want to do that to sell more toys. Yeah. Which is odd, but it's entertaining. Yeah. So for this one, uh, I'm gonna go Roman Reigns. Owens. As much as I would say Owens, the time is for Roman Reigns. Unless somebody shows up and helps him, like Triple H. Helps Kevin Owens. Well, Triple H is going to be involved with Rollins or something. I don't know. Uh, at this point, Rollins doesn't have it. Rollins aren't even in the match Rumble, now. So, so we'll Rollins, see what happens. Rollins there. is going to help Roman Reigns, I bet. Maybe. That'd be cool. Now, big match. The match everyone's talking about besides the Rumble. John Cena. And his name is John Cena! Uh, do, is do, do, do. AJ Styles. See, I got gloves but there is so it's all good so this will be a phenomenal match no pun pun intended. Intended. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be a great match um i think i be just great. can't see and then here's a no, inevitable match number two that you fans need to just get a grip on cena's gonna win don't freak out it's gonna be okay it's got, he's oh, no. gonna uh, freaking out yeah that's essentially what they're gonna do they're gonna that's what i'm gonna keyboards do and, uh, that's what I'm, I'm not gonna watch WWE anymore. <laughs> I do that 24/7. Yeah. Anyways, so it's. I think it has a really good chance of happening that Cena wins, ties the record. I can't see a scenario where WWE lets Cena lose to the same guy three times. Like, think about it. He had two really awesome matches with AJ, but AJ won both times. A third time around, I don't see them making him lose again. That would Especially be really since, weird. Since the match at SummerSlam, which was the best match that they've had with this entire That game, was amazing. Since, I I was, give since a... me and Alex were there at SummerSlam, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was amazing. So, that being said, like he had his great, he had his great match I'm there. <laughs> I think he did ask. I think, it, yeah, I did ask you <laughs> at, at one time to come, and then you said, well, if Alex is able to go, but then if Alex was able to go to SummerSlam, you would have yeah, the ball yeah, back. Yeah. So... I'm but sorry. we're going we're going <laughs> okay, to go to SummerSlam 2017 all together hopefully Brooklyn. So that being said, um, yeah, I'm a big AJ Styles fan. I've always been since TNA days. And when he made Wait, his dude, debut, seen the shirt. what? Well, he he had the AJ's one. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So, anyways, when AJ Styles made his debut last year at the Royal Rumble, a year ago three, today. We were all marking out, especially me and Mark. We were <laughs> Mark like, oh, my God, out. AJ Styles. I was like, I grabbed him. I was like, oh, my God, AJ Styles. <laughs> it was real. And, like, we were freaking out. Because yeah, that was awesome. Shit got real. We, we followed the guy since TNA, and then to see him come, you know, the WWE. Oh, you know, early, the early days in TNA. Man. Yeah. The asylum. Yeah. Craziness. So to see where he's been, to see the feud, to see he's had Dean Ambrose, you know, Jericho at Mania. He's had, you know. The match has been Roman Reigns, like we said. Yeah. AJ Styles has proved that he fits in with the WWE mold, and yeah, he does. he's he's put over he's, he's put over Dean Ambrose, you know. He's Dean Ambrose put him over, and even put over Ellsworth of all people. <laughs> yeah. So. Wow. Well, and he made with two hands has a fighting chance. And <laughs> even Cena even put Styles over, which I thought was great. Wow. Now that John Cena's back, you all better recognize. 
John Cena is going to win the title for the 16th time. As much as I don't like it, it's best for business. And it's, it's as much as I'm a big Ric Flair guy, and I don't want the streak to be broken. But eventually, but once it's not 16, it's going to be 17. When it's not 17, it's going to be 18. Eventually, he's going to be a 20-time champion if his body will hold up. Yeah. you got to think John Cena is almost 40. You know, he'll get as many title shots as he can. You know, depending on what they want to do with it. Yeah. But there's not too, he doesn't have too much left. He's got you know a good solid maybe four or five years, maybe he's, unless if he stays in real good shape and doesn't have any real major health concerns. I mean, he could be there for a while. He's he's a pretty much a part timer now. I mean, he has so yeah. much other stuff outside of WWE yeah, now. That's why people are always so mad that he, that he's all you know making movies being on the Today Show and all these talk shows. But, hey, he's done his time. He deserves it. And, you know, they let AJ become the face that runs the place, the champ that runs the camp. You know, they actually look, and he actually has proved it. You know, and even if a heel, he does do the WWE justice as the champion. Yeah. He has made the WWE title relevant. In reality, the WWE title is the only title that's relevant. You know, they changed the colors of all the other titles, made a universal title, but the WWE title has always been the most important title. The Preach. title that means something. I don't care about all your other titles. The title that Styles has is the one I like. John Cena deserves it. Give him a 16 time world title so we can shut up about it so we don't have to hear about it anymore. He's just going to keep winning it even more and more and more. Eventually, what I think the plan should be, you give John Cena the title, Undertaker wins the Rumble. Even if he doesn't win the Rumble, you still get John Cena Undertaker for the title. Maybe not this year's WrestleMania. Maybe next year's WrestleMania. WrestleMania 2018, New Orleans, Louisiana. You get John Cena versus The Undertaker for the title. The city where The Undertaker's streak was broken. The Undertaker wins the title off John Cena. <sighs> I think he Mind just, blown. He just booked the whole, like, two preach, years. Man, preach. He just well said. It. Very well said. Yeah, John Cena is the face that runs the place, the champ that runs the camp. For 15 years, John Cena has proven that he belongs. I don't care what people say about him, that he's they have the five moves of doom. John Cena deserves my respect. And that's a wow. lot coming from me because I used to hate John Cena a long time ago. But maybe not really because I've been a John Cena fan <laughs> since 2005. So. Oh, my gosh. How do I follow that up? I don't know. If you <laughs> and I was just going to say, and I, I, I hate to diss the guy, but I'm going to say something. And the something that I'm going to say is. <laughs> John Cena is number one! <laughs> okay, no, but I was going to say, it just. It's just annoying that the second he comes back, he's back in the title picture. I mean, he's been gone for so long, and he o o automatically gets a chance. I mean, come on, some John other, Cena. he is, but and so but so many other been guys out of the title picture for almost three years now. But so many so. other guys deserve it that, that chance. I mean, yes, uh, Styles and Cena have put on a great feud. I'm not disputing that. At SummerSlam, that was the best best match of the night, in my opinion. The crowd went crazy for that. But at the same time, I hate it, and it's not just Cena, but in general, for anyone in general, I just hate it when someone comes back. Maybe not the second they come back, but they get, automatically get put back into the title picture after being gone for so long. Look at Rollins. Rollins been, I don't know how long he's been back for, but at least a few months now, or more. And He was he, thrown right into the he's, title No, he's he, not. He didn't no, even get one he, title no, match. He, yeah, he did. It was only a month after. Did they he? had the Universal title tournament, yeah. Okay, <laughs> he but, was right back into the mix. But uh, like, I feel like he's been kind of put on the back burner to some degree. Well, and I'm digressing a little bit, but I'm just saying that, like, uh, and he's still a important it's aspect been a of the Owen show for the yeah. most part. It hasn't really been about Rollins. Yeah, but he's, he's been mixed been in more there. about Rollins. True. Reigns. There's literally like four people that are the main event, you know, status of Raw. It's Owens, Jericho, Reigns, and Rollins. Like, that's not much so, diversity. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I know. But, um, anyways, um, will it be a good match? I'm sure it will be a good match. They've had a great feud. I'm not – like I said, I, I'm not disputing that. But, I mean, like I said in a previous video, WWE likes streaks and records. And and the thing is is that in that aspect, it's so predictable. And you know that um, 
uh, the streak, or, well, in this case, a record, is going to be broken. So uh, the obvious tied. pick, it was gonna, or tied in this yeah. case, but it eventually was gonna broken. happen one day. You might so, as well get it over. You now. know that Cena's going to win, and as much as I love Styles, Cena's going to win, and I'd be shocked if they had Styles win. I, mean, I would too. So I'm. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm wearing AJ stuff, but I'm gonna pick Cena just because it's inevitable. He's gonna tie the record. He'll break the record. Cena, bring it home, Cena. Bring it home. <laughs> okay, so any last thoughts? I think between his rant and your rant, I think we covered it. Okay, that was so awesome. let us know what you think. Um, do you agree, disagree with us? And uh, follow us everywhere on social media. See ya later. See ya. See ya.